What's going on, guys? Your boy Joey672 coming you guys with the video right now. So it looks like defensive end Gennard Avery is going to be switching his position to linebacker, which is really interesting because when we traded for Gennard Avery at the trade deadline, 2019 gave away a fourth round pick for 2021 to the Browns. They were not in a 4-3 scheme, and Gennard Avery played linebacker and did really well. Browns fans were not really happy about the trading of Gennard Avery uh, for a fourth round pick. Now, this was middle of the season, obviously, week nine at the deadline. Eagles threw him into a game. I think he had like a half a sack, uh, I think a sack and a half, something like that. A couple tackles. He was in for a few plays. That was really it. And Howie Rosen pretty much said that, you know, he was more of a project. Uh, you know, he wasn't expecting him to play much in 2019, but obviously uh, tried to play more in 2020. Now, Footwork King, if you guys know up above here, Footwork King, he uh, works with a lot of NFL prospects, put them through these ops, puts players through these crazy obstacle courses, really does a good job of seen a lot of our players like uh you know Darius Slay and some other players uh have worked for Footwork King um so Footwork King actually quoted uh Gennar, you know quoted some things uh, where they were practicing so he says the best news I heard all week the Philadelphia Eagles are moving Gerard Avery to linebacker this season my dog should have been playing linebacker in the first place anyhow proper preparation been on go for Gennard um hashtag bird gang okay so um, is working really hard to, uh, you know, come back. But now as a linebacker, very interesting. Obviously, Jonathan Gannon has his hands probably on all of this. Sees Jannard Avery more of a linebacker than he does an edge rusher, which I'm fine with. Um, you know, I've always wanted to see Jannard Avery at linebacker. That's where he came from in a different scheme with the Browns. And obviously the Eagles switched his position, thought he would be a better pass rusher, which he did pretty good here and there when he got his chances but really wasn't put in games when everybody was at 100% full health. More of a depth guy in that defensive line. Um, yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I really don't have the snap count for 2020 uh, for Jadard Avery. I, I thought he got hurt at one point. Not Nothing crazy, but tweak something. Uh, but with Jannard Avery moving to linebacker, you got Jadard Avery, a Alex Singleton. Hopefully Nathan Gary is gone. I don't know what's going on with him. I haven't really heard much news from him. But Sean Bradley, Davion Taylor from the third round uh, from Colorado that we drafted last year. I want I want a big competition at linebacker this year. I really do. Maybe moving Jannard Avery to linebacker is going to... You know, it's going to shore up some things. Maybe the Eagles don't have to draft a linebacker this year. Maybe this is a sign that you don't have to go to the first round get a Micah Parsons or something like that. Um, so I guess, you know, Jonathan Gannon maybe has a plan with Jannard Avery. I think Jannard Avery, this is his last year on his contract, so I don't know where we're going with this. But I'm hoping that, you know, this is a prove-it year for Jannard Avery to see what he does and, you know, to shore up that linebacker position. I don't know much about his coverage skills. I know for the Browns, he played really well. I, he, he really was effective playing at linebacker. And then, obviously, the Eagles switched him to defensive end in the 4-3 scheme. So, um, excited to see what he could do in this defense and, and see what we could do there. So, let me know what you guys think about Jannard Avery switching positions to linebacker. I think it's a perfect idea. That's where he came from, like I said, for the millionth time. That's that's where he came from when he was with the Browns. That was a position, position, you know, switching positions isn't that easy. I mean, it may seem like it, but at the same time, Avery might be better. He might have better backfield recognition as a linebacker, better blitzer. He's a hard hitter, uh, physical guy. I know Jannard Avery is very physical, so um, to be in competition with these other guys as Sean Bradley and Davion Taylor and the rest of these guys, Alex Singleton has been fantastic. So this should be really interesting to see this linebacker core. Maybe they're not going to draft a linebacker this year, which I'm really not surprised if they don't. But if they don't draft one, this could be the answer for Philadelphia for this year, obviously. And then um, depending on his contract, what they're going to do with him if he plays well. So should be interesting. We'll see what happens. I'll see you guys later. Shake what up. Fly outside. Peace out, guys. Peace.